So today we did a little grocery shopping early in the morning because <clears throat> why not? But have you guys seen that video of where the shopping cart person, he like catches you slipping? Yeah, so ever since then, like I take it all the way to the, um, what is that called? Those little cart thingies, yeah. That's what I do now. Cause I, I was like, damn, I'm not trying to get caught. Cause he, he be traveling, he be traveling. Uh, I don't even know his name though. Good morning, today is filming day. I'm just gonna give you guys an update on what they say about my back. See what if I could go back to working out. Which I could, I guess basically like I'm able to do what I was able to do before I got injured. It feels so good outside. I thought like, oh, <clears throat> let me catch, let me catch the store early because it's Super Bowl Sunday. So no, that's exactly why it was packed. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I didn't think of that, but anyways, did my uh, morning shopping and yeah. Don't mind my crazy hair, but this is an update on my back. But today we're at the doctor's. So I've done physical therapy three times a week for two weeks so far. Next week should be my last week, they said. It's so hard not doing anything. Like, I'm so used to always doing something. And I keep asking, can I at least do the elliptical a little bit? No. Can I at least lift this? No. And so I'm like, <sighs> but hopefully soon. Whatever they gave me, they said maybe in a week that would be good, but let's see what they say today because it's my checkup. So I just got an update. I think I have one more physical therapy on Tuesday and then I'm clear. So we're home now. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything up and get ready for my morning. We're gonna watch service. Today we can't go to church because my girl, she works. She, do she doesn't normally work on Sundays, but today she works and like we've been watching it online. And I told her, let's go, let's go to church this week. Like, I really need to be there, you know? It's, it's a different vibe for me. That's how I feel. I, I love being in the scene. God knows, like, what you're doing. Working on a Sunday and you can't um, show up, he knows. It's not because you're doing it because you don't want to. It's, you have to go to work. But, um, my job asked her to go today, so... I just finished watching today's word it was really good it's uh right now it's called victorious secret the church i attend is called generations church out here in Moreno valley really really best decision of my life that i've ever made starting in 2018 september i was going through something crazy like and definitely reaching out to a couple friends that actually attended that church all i did was message them what, what i was going through for about like a month and i was like stressing i didn't know what to do and i was like you know what i've tried every option i'm going to this one now and it's sad that i made god my last option but i'm glad i made him an option do you know what i'm saying now he he has became my first my priority um all i did was text her i want to get close to god and boom ever since then you know my relationship with him was up and down up and down up and down when i first attended but i knew that was the devil trying to speak to me I definitely am proud of that decision it was the best decision of my life like i mentioned but yeah today's word was really good it's called victoria's secret i mean it's about relationships like sex uh how we portray marriage and stuff like that and sorry there's cops but um, I'm nosy. Ooh, they leaving. <clears throat> Three, dang. Anyways, so basically like the first one was telling us like last Sunday it was about um, like marriage, like man, woman, you know. He did mention, he was like, you know what? LGBTQ is welcomed here, da da da. But what he's gonna talk about is coming straight from the Bible, which I totally understood. I, I listened to the word, nothing. I didn't drink the poison. That was another series we talked about drinking the poison, meaning like getting offended. If you want to get offended, that's up to you, but you have the option not to. So I definitely started watching last series, didn't drink the poison. I listened to the word today, um, last series, last week. This, today's was about the relationships, about marriage or like sex and like how 
people nowadays are getting married just jumping into sex and stuff like that it was, it was a really good series you guys should check it out it's generations church uh marino valley if we can't attend if we can't attend um church we watch it live it's super bowl sunday the weather is beautiful i love it when it's cold but not like ice cold from last week to this week um i've learned to um balance my emotions and like what's going on and how i can handle it and how to take care of it so i gotta say from when i first got fired to now i definitely feel a lot better i'm finding solutions i'm not giving up for sure not giving up but it does get stressful at points because I'm like, oh my God, if this is this, but I'm like, you know what? There's a reason why, like I said, God's plan. I'm actually recording in the morning today. I normally record like 10 o'clock at night before I go to bed. Um, yeah, and I already cleaned yesterday. Usually I clean every Sunday, but I cleaned yesterday because I was bored, didn't have much to do. So you now today I'm kind of chilling, have my morning. I ran to the store this morning, made breakfast, listened to the word on YouTube, Generations Church, Marina Valley. If anybody wants to hop on, really good church, really, really good church. And I also love that church too because I knew a lot of people there from a long time ago. And if y'all know, a long time ago, I didn't look like this. So they knew who I was as soon as I walked in there. They were just like, oh my gosh, how are you? And so loving. And you know, coming from a Catholic and just all these judgmental people, they're like, oh, I'll just say LGBT people are not welcome. They're hated, going to hell, da da da, whatever. The the pastor knew who I was. One of the pastor assistant pastors knew who I was. He was actually my coach in softball when I was younger, and he welcomed me with open arms. You know, and there was another person there too. Um, I knew her daughter from I was in band in high school talked to her mom and her father who recently passed away you know he he welcomed me with open arms you know i guess you could say i got daddy issues or something because when a father figure comes into my life and accepts me for who i am i feel warm and i appreciate it and it's amazing feeling especially growing up without a dad um having that father figure play a role in my life without asking or with you know i don't even expect it i just kind of just walk along and boom god puts him in my life i love i love it it's just amazing you know it, it gives me someone to look up to overall generations church marino valley is a really i think we have multiple locations but that's the one that i attend because it's more local for me um yeah cognac <laughs> here's another update too I am able to work out again. They put me on slight work, so they said like, I'm focusing on um, little workouts, lightweight. Yesterday was day two of my fitness journey. I'm going on day three today. I'm really excited. I'm gonna work out every day, at least 30 minutes, min minimal workouts, minimal work, whatever. So just the elliptical for sure, and then like kind of just some weights and stuff like that. I really liked this series because they focused on today's relationships. I feel like today's relationships forget to be friends, as he mentioned in the video. We skip friendships and we just jump into the more, I guess you could say, sexual part of relationships. We, another thing too, he was like, would you talk to yourself the way you talk to your partner? I'll catch myself and I'll apologize, you know, because I have no right to do that, you know? And um, that really stuck to me was like, talk to your partner the way you would talk to yourself would you tell yourself oh i suck oh i need to do this like you need to work harder you need to da, da, da. like no you would tell yourself all right we got this you know let's do this so you need to talk to your partner like that like let's do this we're a team you know i just feel like that's something that we slack is that we just talk fast like just let our head tell us what to say without even thinking about it. And at the end of the day, we could be really damaging our partner or even ourselves because then we start thinking like, why would we talk like that? Why would we treat them like that when we love them? We're supposed to love them, you know? So 
I, I don't know. You guys just got to watch it. Don't forget to praise now and pray later. Those are like the key to life, honestly. Just balances out, you know. We got to show him thanks because he's the one giving it to us, you know, in Jesus' name. So you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget, praise now, praise later.